Austin City Limits, famous guitar venue, Philip Bino. Hey. Have you ever been here before? I have. What are, you, what are your thoughts? It's a wonderful place where a lot of careers have been made. I believe I see one in front of me that's about to start. Oh, shit. That's right. <laughs> I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> What, when, when's the last time you were here? Oh, many years ago, like 2013 or something like that. Okay, 2013, nice. And uh, just describe the atmosphere for me. It's Austin, it's a wonderful music town. Uh, people are supportive, you know, it's a great place to be a musician. Great it's, place to be a musician. It's an artist community, they're not, you know, not just coming out to get drinks, they pay attention. So it's, it will be a really attentive crowd, they'll enjoy it. Okay. Music. All right, attentive. I like that. That means they're going to hear all of the mistake. And applaud at the end of them. Applaud at the end. This is our green room here today. Pretty nice. Nice. A little moody. So check it out. So this is the backstage. One of my favorite things already. Boom. Normally this is like on a laminated piece of paper, but all the green rooms and rooms are labeled with screens, which is just, I love that. Look at this little Waterloo sponsored cooler. Pretty awesome backstage area. Look at the lamps. Look at the chandelier lamps with the little LED candles. It's so cute. Screen of the show. Fake plants. Who's catering? More plants. There's Julian over there. He's not gonna notice me. All I really want is to live in a world where I can just relax in peace and quiet. Is that too much to ask? Julian. Huh? You're on candid camera. Honestly, one of my favorite gigs, just the vibe, the setup. It's already one of my favorite gigs we haven't even played yet. I don't even think they've even loaded in our gear yet. They're in my cabinets, on my pedal board. Right, so there's just stuff coming in there in my cabs. Gotta use this big elevator to bring all the shit up from the ground level. This clock, right? It shows the time and the date. There's Michael Arms, my incredible guitar tech. Dude, this man. Oh my god, what are we doing? Thoughts on Austin City Limits. Fucking love ACL. Yeah, have you been here before? I've not been to the movie theater as a performer slash tech or whatever. Okay. Uh, but I've been here in attendance. Yeah. Right on. Okay, cool. Ruben, we're at Austin City Limits. This is your home to isn't this your home? No, Dallas is. Dallas is your home. That's right, that's right, okay. We stopped there yesterday was your pit stop at yeah. quote unquote home. Stop yesterday. Hey, thoughts on Austin City Limits? What's that? That's where we're at today. You're kidding me, dude. That's a chonky. That's a chonky. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm you thinking, thinking I'm thinking the world needs to know about you. Oh boy. Killer. The world needs to know about you. Yeah. Give me your name, date of birth, social security. Okay, five five five. <laughs> Here we are on the stage, look at my Sith Lord cabs, looking beast. Phillips basses, Jeremy's drums, his, the Tiger is Jeremy's new thing. Joe's amps back there, bright light. My eyes! Dude, Austin City Limits, mm -hmm. give me your thoughts. Well, it's a big night for us here on this tour. I'll explain to you, because we've, uh, we've now, we have eight shows left, and Woo! I don't think we that means we've had, what, 30? Yeah, and okay. And we haven't, I don't think yet, had every tour, hopefully, somewhere along the way, has the one. And the one, the one, is where everybody in the touring party has a great show. Ooh. Now, one person walks away thinking they could have done a little better. Ooh. And we've got eight more shows to pull this off. Ooh. And so it's uh, it's pressure, but it's a good pressure. I think we're, we're in a great room for it. It's beautiful. It's got a great sound system. It's gonna yeah. be a lot of crazy musicians here tonight cheering the bands on. Yeah. So we're going for the one. We're going for the in one Austin. in Austin. Wow. <laughs> you can hear Doug laughing from a mile away. You shaved your head, look. Wow. So clean. So clean. So fresh. So, so Austin, Austin City Limits. Austin City Limits. What are your thoughts, Broski? Uh, a lot of hot college girls walking around here. A lot of <laughs> Definitely noticed that. Man. It's kind of like a lot of hot chicks. Then I realized it's college town. Yeah. That's what I noticed. That's all I got. And away we go. And away we go. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Okay, we decided here. Jeremy's here. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jeremy Colson Show. They're all here hey, for you, buddy. How much time we got? Uh, well, you, everybody else has got three minutes. You've got uh, three minutes and a second, but you're usually a second behind everybody else. My chariot. Oh, yes. Thank you. Beauty. Beauty. See, they're clapping for you right now. Oh, my God. I'm just going to stand here and hold it. I don't, I don't know it. how I to just play it. it. I, I just, just, I just pose with it. Ready to fucking rock? Yes, good. Always. Finished playing. Honestly, it was a great set. Not gonna lie, pretty good, pretty solid. One of the best, one of the best crowds. Definitely one of my favorite venues. Probably my favorite venue. Tour. Definitely. It's very high, and everything's also very close. So it's it's like a really tiny little stadium feel, you know. Um, I love that the vertical, but also the audience is wrapped around and really close. So it was awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, man. All right. Yep, yep. Have a good rest of your set, bro. And then we go. Hey, shut it, you bloody cunt. So I'm gonna lose an eye. Hold on, hold on, I'm joining you. Five minutes later. One hour later. Three hours later. Good night. I mean, this gets a 10. Awesome city limits, 10 out of 10. Honestly, just as good as a gig as you could ask for. Amazing accommodations, beautiful green rooms, great hangout areas, super vibe. You got, you know, cool art and decorations and plants and all kinds of cool shit. You know, you'd be surprised. Not a lot of venues do that. A lot of venues can be like really bland backstage and you feel like you're in like a, like an empty school or something, but this place is awesome. It's got a ton of character and uh, amazing stage. I love playing a stage like this. It, like, if you look at it, the seats come down like exactly where the stage is, if not a little bit to the side. So when you're up there, you feel like you're just kind of completely enveloped by the crowd. It's a really cool feeling. And, uh, definitely one of my favorite types of places to play. I mean, nothing will ever 
beat a tight, sweaty, standing room only club. But if I'm gonna have to play a seated show, I like them when they're like this. They have a little bit more energy. Chris Huba! Yeah! Triple Threat Chris does playback, drum tech, and video. We call that the Triple Threat. So he'll do a whole thing here. Triple Threat Chris. Boom. Dante, listen to me. I understand you want me to be creative, but I don't get paid enough for this. But anyways, here it is. So he'll do a whole thing here. Triple threat, Chris. Triple threat, Chris. Triple threat, Chris. This is awesome. Five stars. I've got man. red light fever, man. Dude. Been looking forward to this for decades. Yeah. Yes. They've been teasing collaborations for so long. It's just I know. So cool. I know it was great. It was yeah, great, man. especially especially Thanks, the part man. where I went up there in front of Steve and Joe, yeah, man. and yeah, ripped that cool. insane solo yeah. that made them put their guitars down. Your harmonies were tight. Remember that part? Oh, thank yeah. you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> and look who else is here. Sophia shreds. Boom. <laughs> so, so I'll get my editor put up a big graphic. Sophia shreds. Really, bro. Really. Did you not listen to me the first time? I am done, man. I can't do this anymore, but this is doing to be the last in time. Well, give me a, give me a pose. Give me a pose. Give me a pose. Tomorrow and the one in Houston as well, so we're taking it all the ones in Texas. Who's that? Natalia? No. Your show. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be in Dallas. It's our hometown. So we'll be in Dallas tomorrow and then we'll see you in Houston. Yes. Robin and Carlo, right? Okay, Robin Houston, and Carlos, Houston, Texas. who were in at the Midland show. Having so many good experiences in life will have inspiration for you to make excellent music. I don't know that. I mean, I feel that, and I know that at the same time that he is going to make great music even outside of his environment. Like, not even just like playing music is one thing, but like hearing the music itself is just a completely different experience. One thing I noticed is when you listen to an artist or you listen to a certain sound, you tend to pick up on it. Yeah. yeah. So much experience yeah. too. So it's gonna help him even more. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Aww. Okay, so we just found out that Robin has a band. That's you right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you're gonna get a big shout out of the video. What's your <laughs> name? You. What's the name of your band? Uh, Rose Invasion. Rose Invasion. Yes. That's sick. <laughs> so hail. You got to do a really cool graphic. The ninja. 